Take three. I think everything should be turned on now. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. My name is April and I'm so excited to share this recipe with you today. Cheesy stuffed mushrooms. This is one of my family's all-time favorite appetizers, and they disappear just as fast as I can get them out of the oven. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the little bell for notifications for future recipes like this one. Let's get started. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is take some Baby Bella mushroom caps and pop the stems out. Usually, if you just wiggle them a little bit, they pop right out, just like that. And then you're going to want to take a spoon and just very carefully carve out the insides, making sure you don't scrape through the edges because then you'll just have a mess after you add all of the cheese. Now you want to save all of these little clippings and the stems because we're going to chop it all up and add that to the filling as well, like that. That's what you don't want to do. Now you want to take the stems and dice them up nice and small because you're going to mix them with the cheese for the stuffing. The next step, we're going to cook down our mushrooms and some garlic and then mix in all of the cheese. Go ahead and get that hot. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil, or any vegetable oil will do. To that, we're going to add our mushroom stems and a tablespoon of minced garlic. And stir that up until the mushroom pieces get soft. Once everything is cooked down, we're going to turn the heat to low and add our cheese. We're going to add a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, about a half cup of shredded mozzarella, and four ounces of green cheese. Then just stir till it's all melty and mixed. To this, we're also going to add about a quarter tablespoon of Italian seasoning, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, and some pepper. I tend to eyeball things when it comes to spices, so if you'd like to measure, go ahead or just eyeball it for your taste. The last thing I add is some breadcrumbs, and this is about a quarter cup, and I just sprinkle some in and then save the others for the topping. It's a very cheesy mixture, but what do you expect? We're from Wisconsin. All right guys, now that we've got all the cheese and the mushrooms and the garlic all mixed together, we're gonna go ahead and just spoon the cheesy mixture into our mushroom caps. You don't wanna fill them too much because the cheese will melt when it's cooked and if they're too full, they'll overflow and just make a big mess. Now this one was the one that was broken. Um, so you just want to be careful while you fill it, and you can kind of use the cheese as like a glue to hold it in. Now just sprinkle some breadcrumbs over the top. And now we just pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. Alright guys, it's been about 20 to 25 minutes. We pulled these out of the oven. They smell so good. You can see the tops got kind of nice and browned. That's how you know they're done. I can't wait to hear if your family loves these as much as mine. So drop me a comment below and let me know how they turned out. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that little bell so you get notified when I have recipes coming out just like this. Bye!